Hey, what's going on YouTube fam? Get ready for another cooking and grilling with Carl recipe after this. Yeah, so here go the ingredients. The ingredients are all purpose flour, seasoned with a little salt and pepper, some dried parsley flakes. Right here I have an egg wash and there's a little bit of milk, um, four eggs, uh, dry parsley flakes, and some lemon pepper seasoning. Right here I have some heavy cream, I have some three to four ounce chicken breast, I have some lemon pepper seasoning, some table salt, pepper mill for my cracked pepper, some chicken stock, unsalted butter, fresh chopped parsley, fresh diced Roma tomatoes for garnish, some diced onions, and some fresh basil, some uh, fresh chives, and lemon, and also I have uh, extra virgin olive oil, and some Chardonnay, all right? thing I'm gonna do my pan is already hot so I'm gonna dress the chicken I'm gonna egg wash it I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, dredge it in flour and then egg wash it and then right into the pan all right going over my olive oil Start coating my chicken. While the oil is heating up. The thing about this recipe, it doesn't take long at all. So, you know, if you got company coming over, as long as you got everything prepped, it doesn't take long. You can make it in like 10 minutes. Let the excess drip off. Basically, all I want to do is get it nice and golden brown. Just preheat my oven. All right, so ready to flip the first one. So, 
you know, here at home, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown it on both sides, give it a little bit of a crust, throw it on this um, cookie sheet, and then I'm gonna finish cooking in the oven while I make my sauce. And then I'm gonna put it back into the sauce just so I can absorb some of the sauce. But, you know, when I used to cook in restaurants, um, we basically made this uh, to order right in the pan. So basically I would saute the chicken. I only do, I wouldn't overcrowd the, the pan like this and we use smaller pans. But I would basically brown it on both sides, hit it with the ingredients and make everything right in the pan. So coming out with my first batch. cleaning as I go so I don't, so I don't end up with a mess when this is when this whole thing is over. Think about doing this, making the video, I mean cooking this food is nothing. You know, for me anyway, it might be a little something to somebody else. But when you're trying to make the video that makes it a little bit more complicated. So so I try to clean as I go so I don't have a big mess at the end of the at the end of the video. ready to come out. All right, right in the oven. I preheated my oven to 400. Get rid of a little bit of this oil. All right, onions. Typically, you know, the classic way is shallot. I didn't have any, so I just diced up some onions real small. Just gonna sweat my onions and the garlic. All right, I'm gonna deglaze the pan with um, some white wine. Stock, some chicken broth. And I'm just gonna let that cook down. Then with a little bit of uh, lemon pepper. Some cracked black pepper. Pinch of salt. And I'm going to some lemon juice. 
for right now, I'm gonna do a half a lemon. All right, this is reduced down by almost half. Going with some heavy cream. All right, my chicken should be ready. chicken I'm gonna leave a couple out for my kids they're not into the whole <laughs> sauce and all that stuff in the chicken so they're gonna have theirs without sauce me and my wife are gonna have ours with sauce It with a little bit more lemon pepper. All right, so all I'm doing is just waiting for the chicken to absorb more of that sauce and for the sauce to thicken up. You know, so I'm just basically reducing it down by half. And as I reduce it, you know, the lemon, the wine, the broth, everything is going to continue to, the flavor is going to get more intense, the onions, the garlic. So the more I cook it down, the more tender the chicken is going to be. And the more richer the sauce is going to be, and the more flavorful the sauce and chicken is going to be. Just added my butter. Just basically uh probably like uh three tablespoons of butter and just put it in here. Give it a taste. So it's pretty much ready. So what I'm gonna do is transfer everything into this pink into um, my glass dish here. You know, just for presentation purposes. Be right back. I'm gonna fix this up and then I'll show you the finished product. All right, here you go. Chicken franchise with some um, some chives, some diced tomatoes. I have some rosemary, some basil, and everything in there for garnish. I'm gonna have that with a salad. All right. So, you know, pretty simple dish to make. It's just about, you know, putting the right amount of, you know, your wine, your uh, chicken broth. And if you follow the recipe the way I did it, hopefully you find this uh, simple and yeah, something you can do from home. But this is a restaurant quality dish. Um, you know, you'll find something like this at Olive Garden and 
Italian restaurants and, and you know, various uh, high-end restaurants. All right, so once again, I appreciate you for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, give a thumbs up, smash that, um, that um, notification bell, subscribe to the channel. You know, share the video if you if you don't mind. It helps support the channel. And you know, I just want to thank you again for coming by. This is Cooking and Grilling with Carl. I'm Carl, Chef Carl, and hope to see you on the next video. God bless. Stay safe. Peace.